<laughs> oh, you want to hear uh, Hillary? Hillary? Yes, Hillary uh, uh, describing what happened to her. Very much. Yeah. Welcome back to Morning Joe. We have obtained an exclusive excerpt from Hillary Clinton's new book, and for the first, the Democratic nominee losing bid story. Dang. I want to pull back the curtain on an experience what that happened? was exhilarating, no, joyful, humbling, infuriating, ah. and just plain baffling. Writing this wasn't easy. Every day that I was a candidate for president, I knew that millions of people were counting on me, and I couldn't bear the idea of letting them down. But I did. I couldn't get the job done, and I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Yeah, but In this the emails. Book, I write about moments from the campaign that I wish I could go back and do over. <laughs> if the Russians could hack my subconscious, Ugh. they'd oh, find a long Go back wrist. a little. I want to hear that fake laugh. Some, but <laughs> I, did. If they, I couldn't get the job if the done. the Russians? That's awful. And I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Two more years, In this hopefully. book, I write about moments from the campaign <laughs> that I wish I could go back and do over. If the Russians could act my subconscious, uh -huh. they'd find a long list. I also capture oh, some pause. moments I want to remember forever. That is terrible. Awful. And in that moment, that's kind of why she lost. Absolutely, I agree. It's that fake connection, that fake personality thing. <laughs> if I could do it. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah, you know, because the Russians hacked things and helped Donald Trump win. But Hillary, you lost. You lost. Like, even in that... You lost. Even in that sentence, she's almost laughing it off. Like, we educated people know that I won the election, if not for the Russians. Now you lost the electoral vote, the college, and you were the one who fucking complained. I, mean, I don't even hate this woman, but I hate the f bullshit. You, you're the one that said that he wouldn't honor the, uh, the, 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 the system and the, um, the decision. Yes. She's the one who said that. Yes. She's like, we must have a peaceful transfer of power and honor the, and she didn't do it. Yeah. She complained. Yeah, people forget about that. That Donald was saying like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna concede. If I lose, yeah, now nah, we'll see. And people were like, that, 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 that yeah. is outrageous. Yeah. We, we, it, 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 it defames our entire governmental system. This is necessary. And then the minute that he wins accurately, the minute that he wins the, the uh, electoral college, which is not like, oh, Donald Trump manipulated it. All politicians to ever run for president, ever manipulate the electoral college. That's he wanted to use that to win. It's it's just, to me it's kind of a shitty thing. But all but of he them, won. Like that's why they do more speeches in certain states than other states. That's, that's right. why advertising budgets get changed state by state. You know? Like mm. when my tiny granddaughter raced into the room while I was practicing my convention speech and what it was like hours later to step on stage to deliver that speech as the first woman ever nominated by a major political party for president of the United States. Yeah, she didn't mind that speech, but uh, concession speech was a little tougher. She didn't show up for it. No, she just let everybody sit there crying. All her, she just let all the Hillary Clinton supporters just sit there in the Jacob Javits. Why wouldn't she concede? She's embarrassed. When, when did she finally? I believe it was several days later at a like, small press conference, if I remember. Yeah, she left all her supporters just standing there. Just standing there. Well... Nothing more to see. You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, that must be awful when you're going to see somebody win. Yeah. Is, is Chris outside? Yeah. Oh, we should we should bring him in. Sorry. We, 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 he, he, he could hear this. With us. Yeah, let's get his take on this. He could hear this. Yeah. There's no reason for him to sit outside. When you're going and seeing somebody... Yeah, you're going to hear them speak. A they, victory speech. A person that, like, you supported. Hey Chris, what's going on, man? What's going on, we're, Sam? We're How are talking you? about. Uh, hi, buddy. You, buddy. Nice to meet you. We're nice talking about uh, Hillary's uh, clip that just got released by it's, MSNBC. It's her audio book. Oh, really? She's yeah. coming out with a book called What Happened. I think I just heard that on the way in. Actually, yeah, yeah. A lot of people yeah. are playing it. Um, I've not heard it yet. But yeah, you go, and you go to hear a victory speech, and it's not just like a candidate you support. Like women were there. And I guess, you know, men who are feminists or whatever, people were there going like, this is not just Hillary Clinton. Right. This is a woman president. This is the first blah, blah, blah. It was a bigger picture thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And not only, you're right, does she not win so you don't get the victory speech, 
You don't get any speech at all. She just doesn't show up. She just, <laughs> yeah, she just stays home. <laughs> Seven month temper tantrum. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah wait, much. wait for the book, guys. You just, you just wait here in Jacob Javits. I'll, I'll come out with a book eventually. <laughs> what happened? It should, yeah. be a, it should be a leaflet. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking people didn't like me and I lost. Yeah. I didn't get enough votes. Uh, yeah. In key states. Let's hear the rest of this. In the excerpt, we have Secretary Clinton also address this moment from October. You'll remember this, when Donald Trump stood directly behind her while the two candidates debated at Washington University in St. Louis. Hey, pause for a second. This so this is, they're about to get into the debate where Trump stands behind Hillary Clinton and was kind of like, you know, yeah. looming over yeah. her. And like, I just love that, that the portrayal of Hillary is of this sort of innocent, kind of helpless person who's just there like, I'm just there to... To, 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 to run for office. I just want to right. do right by You've the people. You've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You and, should and know I mean, what the hell is going on. And you talk about cutthroat politicians. You know, if anybody's got a reputation for being cutthroat, it's the Clintons, she, right? The, yeah, she wasn't known. Right? Yeah, she was known yeah. as a bit of a brute. Yeah. A bit of a brute. Yeah, they kind of based an entire Netflix series where politicians kill people around her family. So. <laughs> <laughs> and what she's doing is she's painting herself as this down-home mom who was just trying to make things right, right and was upstaged. And again, whether people like Trump or not doesn't matter, but she's making it look like she was victimized. And you weren't victimized. No. You got your ass kicked. But if she went out there and she actually said what she said on this tape that we're about to hear, mm -hmm. I think it would have helped her out a little bit more. And then her comment about if the Russians hacked her subconscious. <laughs> I, you didn't like the little laugh she did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought of you. It was awful. Yeah, it we was did terrible. it. <laughs> My, if, 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 the, Russians. if the Russians... <laughs> It's like that old if they cartoon. My, my, my subconscious. Well, 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 so bad. Who was the uh, who was the dog Dick Dastardly and the <laughs> Muttley? Yeah. Muttley, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Was it yeah Muttley and Dick Dastardly? Well, I forgot about that. <laughs> You're old. I am old. <laughs> I'm old, right I'm, behind you. Pal. I'm forty now. What are you? 45? I just turned forty four. Oh, okay. Wow. To remember that. Do you remember Dick Dastardly? No, I mean I know of Dick Dastardly, oh, but okay. I don't remember. I don't have any childhood Twirling memories. The old mustache. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is not okay. I thought. It was hey, the pause. second presidential. She did not think that. She did not feel victimized at that moment. She did not feel like this is over the line. This is not okay. Why was he standing behind her, just being a creep? He was being a creep. I mean, he yeah. was definitely the the, the <laughs> body language. That's what language. he does. Yeah. Yeah. So why didn't she he say does. something? Ex because I don't why didn't she knew he was there? You no, know, she's a fucking warrior. <laughs> she's a warrior. She's not sitting there going like, I feel. I feel victimized. This is not okay. She's sitting there like, "All right, let's fucking fight them." Like this woman is a is a warrior. Then why is yeah, why why isn't she just turning around going, "Why are you standing there? right?" Yeah. If she, she just said what she said in this audio, yeah, I think people would have respected a little bit more. Hey, the Donald, sit down. Yeah, you're on my like, heels. Back yeah. off, creep. Yeah, yeah, you're invading my space. It's a little annoying. You yeah, go now, play it. You are <laughs> go now. Debate, and Donald Trump was looming behind me. Two days before, the world heard him brag about groping women. Now we were on a small stage, and no matter where I walked, he followed me closely, staring at me, making faces. It was incredibly uncomfortable. He was literally breathing down my neck. My skin <laughs> crawled. It's real close. It was one of those moments where you wish you could hit pause and ask everyone watching, well... What would you do? Hold on. You know what? And and that's something he actually would have said that. You didn't. Exactly. And that's why people didn't like you. The you you'd thought be wouldn't. In, the you'd be in jail line with the mic drop. Yeah. I mean, he said it. She didn't. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. I would have turned around and looked at him and said, you mind taking a step back? You standing on my dick. <laughs> you live nailed with it. a guy. <laughs> you live with a guy who is accused of rape. You live with right. a guy. You right. live with a guy who came on an intern's dress, who was impeached. Yes. By the way, he did but come on her dress. This right? is why she's not likable. Stop acting like you're this fucking victim walking around the stage and everybody's upset. Oh my god, I, he was breathing down my. You live with a guy that a woman is saying bit me and forced me to fuck him. Shut up, Hillary. <laughs> There's definitely come on the dress, right? Yes. Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> Linda Tripp. Uh, no, Linda Tripp ratted out Monica Lewinsky.
That's right. That Monica Linda Tripp, got the. I just think of John Goodman every time I think of Linda Tripp. The, the <laughs> yeah. SNL sketches were unbelievable. Yeah, she could not have enjoyed that. No, no. not at all. But yep. this, this is why she's hateable. In this moment, yeah, you're right. I he was breathing down my neck. Look at your fucking husband. But look at her political career. Right, that's she's, the thing too. Look she's at her. She's cowering. She feels uncomfortable because he's. Look at that. He's standing behind her. Everything she's been through in her political life, and that's making her uncomfortable. That's what's annoying about her. It's this fucking fake. Let me seize the moment. He'd been accused of groping women. Shut up. In yeah. that world, they're all pieces of shit, and you know it. And Hill. Nobody was going to grope you on stage. Nobody. You were okay. You don't get groped in your own house. He's busy with other women. <laughs> Nobody was going to grope you, Hill. Relax. How yeah, did exactly. feminists not call her out on this bullshit? I, I don't know. Come I don't on. know how that doesn't happen. You're absolutely right. Like, I know I know that you're politically you're on the right side of the issue for them, mm -hmm. but when you're, when you're up there going, it was a small stage and he was literally breathing down, how do people not just go, shut the fuck up, you're married to a guy that rubbed his dick on a 19-year-old. Yeah, and so again, which is fine, but at least understand that's what he did. Is Anthony here? But he's so oh, I'll a 19 year old. <laughs> Sign me up too. I'm he's right so, behind Comia. He's so charming though. Oh, Bill. Uh, dude, I like Bill Clinton. I don't care. Hell, he can come to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> I don't dislike Bill Clinton, no. but I'm just saying the bullshit of what she's saying. Right. I don't I don't even dislike her. I'm like, just stop being so full of shit, stupid. Right. And he did say, by the way, the Trump quote was that if you're famous, Women will let you grab them by the yes, pussy. Yes, he never said he, he said he, he, he let, they let you grab the pussy. It's all, awesome. <laughs> all, all, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's a gross quote to, for a president to have. But he's saying they let you. They not, let you. Not you can just go up and grab them. It, it's like here's my here's my vagina. Does it bother yourself? Either of you guys that mm. the guy who actually said that is the president of the United States, and the guy that was sitting next to him can't get a job. <laughs> That is kind of uh, it, it is it is funny how Isn't that worked out. Oh, yeah, Billy Billy Bush. Didn't Billy Bush get paid off though? I don't remember that. I think he, he got paid out. He got paid out something for sure. But yeah, that is but kind of like ironic. A, a month ago, he was like on a return to the leader of the free world, and I can't get work. Yeah, Billy Bush was just a little creepy in that. But uh, I, well, here's I, the thing too, right? So Donald Trump was at least. For all the terribleness that it was, he was being Donald Trump. There was no... You didn't listen to that quote yeah. and be like, what a phony, right? Yeah. Billy Bush's only defense was, well, I was trying to laugh with the celebrity. So it's like... It's almost like you have less forgiveness for the guy for pretending to be a pervert than the guy who's actually just a pervert. Rule number one, when you start in television, pretty much, as soon as you put a microphone on, you have to imagine... That that microphone is on all the at time, all right? times. Yeah, of course. I can't tell you how many times at yes, <laughs> I went into the bathroom <laughs> and I forgot to turn my mic off. Yeah, and you know, at the very last second, I do it. The only person that would have heard me was the audio guy, sure. but still, that's embarrassing. Chris just goes to the bathroom and he goes, "Of course, I killed her." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I killed them all. <laughs> yeah, American Psycho. I, that was just on last night, actually. He can't. Here's the thing, though, with the microphones being on, because you never, you hope that the audio guy just pots you down. But I, I, I was doing once where I was dirty texting. Oh, I was, no. I was fucking voice texting. What do you voice? Oh, why? You were voice texting? No, I, I fucking Siri text. I was just talking into my phone like that. Well, why didn't you just? Pig. Why I forgot just... my mic was on. I did it for an hour. Why didn't you just type, dude? It, it, it was really graphic. I would have saved the audio. I think. I don't even know if he had it. He, it might not have been recording. I wasn't being. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I don't know if that was recording. It may have been. Let me tell you hour? something. The second that you had started, it would have been hit the big red button. He may not have heard it. He, he heard may have it. had me turned off. Because you know, they turn yeah. you off a lot of times. Like, why would he he heard it. What else is he doing? They turn you off. They may not even know you're doing it. Is that called pre-fade, Travis? He don't know what any of the buttons are No, he only knows pre-something and he likes the taste of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but a lot of times when you're, I wasn't in the scene. It wasn't like I was going back and forth, <clears throat> shooting and then being, I was not in the scene. <clears throat> so I was like, you know, I just had an hour to kill. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to put my cock in your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to need you to, I'm going to need you to take off your skirt so I can see your cock. Like it was one of those. <laughs> it was so dirty. I have an hour to kill. So I'm going to dirty text. Dude, I'm going to dirty voice text. I'm going to dirty for a while. voice text. Dude, it was yeah. so graphic. Was it? <sighs> Yeah, but as you said on Anthony's show the other day, everything's out there. 
It is. Everything's it was, out there. It was more the, matter. the embarrassment of the specific. Like, I'm not above being embarrassed. Any person right. with their private text messages or, or, or private voicemail, of course you'd feel embarrassed because, wow, that's me talking dirty. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Even if it was just, you know, me and a girl fucking and me going, yeah, suck my... You'd feel like silly. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't ruin my career. I mean, because nobody cares. But I it's, mean, it's, how could you ruin it? It's true. It's like stepping on something that's non-existent. <laughs> <laughs>